Zweetians, welcome back to Zweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zweetieville. I am Zweetie Pie, and today we are back with a Discover University overview. So, let me get started here. I have the game loaded up, and we are on the room. So, you have the uni student kitchenette, which comes in a few different colors and showcases some items. Quite cute. Then you have the perfectly average dorm rooms, which, I mean, the furniture looks very basic, but then again, very cute, so I do kind of like it. Then you have the party time hangout, which is a cute little room here. I like the coloring choices and stuff, it really represents. Then you got modern art living room area. Ooh, that's a pretty color swatch. And then we have the Distinguished Dining, which I don't know why you would need that. Maybe in Brychester. So there are those rooms there. So now we're going to go do our objects. Do, 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 do. And I've had the game paused for a bit, as you can see. If you follow me on YouTube, I did already upload today. So you should go and hit me up over there because, yeah, I did. And let's see, so this is just all the Discovery University swatch. And so we have this, yeah, that goes through the swatches. Ah, I thought I got my hotkey right. So, I mean, like I said, it's very basic stuff, but very pretty, I think. Um, got this one. I mean, I could do with a little bit more pops on things, but, you know, it's cool. I just like pops of colors lately. Um, but, you know, all in all, actually, for the styles and stuff, I really do like them. Then we have the one double bed, which has some good swatches, too. And then we have the little game chairs that, you know, you take to the games and sit in, because you don't want to sit on those horrible bleachers. Then they have this nonsense wedge chair. It's very modern, very sleek. I, I mean... I don't know about that one yet. We're just going to leave it. Then we have the professor armchair. I mean, I guess I could zoom in so you guys could see this a little better. Sorry. Which, I do like this chair. I like the pattern on it. I like the color swatches. And I like that in all of these, there's like a white and black version on them. And then they got the other swatches. So, EA's listening. So, you know, thank you. These are beautiful when you do that. And that way we can put them with different packs and reverse them to other things and make houses more fluent, not just in one pack. This is a nice little modern bench thingy. I like that. This one's a little bit more old fashioned -y looky. Um, like the swatches on it as well. Then they got their little, whoops, sorry, I've been playing Zook Tycoon this week. Why I was in and out of the hospital and on my treatments and the controls are different than this one, so. <laughs> Camera might be everywhere, my bad. Then we have the little Ikea looking um, computer chair. Then we got this, goes with the chair, the couch. It's just sleek and, ooh, once again, wrong direction. I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. Then we have this that matches the chair. I like this. I will probably overuse that too no end then we got this like storage benchy thing here i mean uh, if i have to be honest the little slashes things on it i really don't think it's fairly ah this way i don't know i just don't like the way it looks it just doesn't look right then we have i don't have my move objects on that's what i'm forgetting move objects on all right, there we go. Now I can put them here. So, and like I said, the whites, the blacks, I do like the grays and the woods. I mean, beautiful. And then we have the high table, which is kind of nice to have that. I'm not going to lie. We don't have very many. And ooh, once again, that camera went in the wrong direction. I really do like it. Then we have, what is this? Uh, Frat House Frolicker by Piper Plastics. Okay, bigger 
table, like, chair. Not chair, like, um, <laughs> bar top table. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and then we have, oops, the wooden one. I like this one. I can see me using this one a lot. Then we have this more, like, entry table, plastic little handles. I like that one. We have end tables, which, like I said, with the beds are very basic. And then we have this funky one, which looks best from this angle so y'all can see it. And, well, of course, I go through the colors and it flips. So, it looks very modern, very sleek. It's very <coughs> unique. But I do like it. Um, we have this one. Once again, you got your whites, your blacks, your grays, your woods. I like. Oops, this direction now. Then we have this, like, palette. Yeah, wooden palette looking one. with More like homemade-y. Um, you know, uni students went and got it from the junkyard, put it together. I don't know why it'd be 60 bucks, though, and I didn't place it. There we go. Then we have more of the sleek table. Um, I like this as well. Just, I don't know, it reminds me of like a little kid play table. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it does. Then we have the little like coffee table. I do like this. Like the detailing in it. Wish it came with some swatches without the detailing. Not going to lie. We have a new desk with the book slots on it. That is pretty. I wish the books would change colors with it a little bit. And then, yes, you see it. We have bathroom stalls. Finally. OMG. Ah! So we have these and I'm like on the wrong angle. We need to be like this. Ah! My camera control suck. I'm sorry. So as I go through the swatches, some of them have graffiti inside them and the graffiti changes. And then some of them don't. So they're more cleaner and sleeker for your more posh places. So I really like that. And then you have the non-American style stall doors that like actually have some privacy on them. And they don't have graffiti on them, which I was really kind of sad to see that. But maybe in non-American bathroom stalls, there's not much graffiti everywhere. Maybe it's, it's better. I don't know. But it's really pretty. And then we got my favorite, I can't wait for my next home build, we have the shower stall. Da da da, make your own shower in all the pretty colors. Okay, I like that one. And then we have our shower unit here, which is very nice. I could see this being a dormy thing that looks like it. And then, oh my god, these controls are going to kill me. We have our robot station, no collars there. We have our podium debate. We have a few with collars to go through there, not many. We have our research machine, which we'll look at that in a minute. We have our kegs, which honestly, they have them all separate. And the only difference is like the flavor. It should have just been like a swatch choice, my opinion, but you know. Hey, to each their own. Then, whoa, whoa, sorry guys, I told you, this is going to suck for you guys for a minute till I get readjusted. No! No! <laughs> I'm probably making everybody sick, I'm so sorry. Okay, alright, we got ping pong tables, and there's different colored ones, that makes me so happy. Oh, it's so cute, look at it, Oh. And then we got a little soccer ball here, so they can play, and it comes in different colors. Then we have, yep, you see it, we have bikes are back. And so, oh, every time I do it. So it's got some different colors there, which are so cute. Um, children and toddlers can't ride bikes, but it's a start. Take what I can get, and I'll hope for the rest later. Then we have a new bar because, you know, or, I'm sorry, juicer area. Because, you know, why not in The Sims? We we have 50 million, why not one more? But this one is very pretty, and, you know, I, I do like it. 
I'm not going to say that, but you know. Then we have new food stalls. There's the fish and chips. There's, oops, forgot to read. Coffee cart. There's the Institute Foxberry coffee cart. There's the Tam Tam's More One Slice Pizza. And there's the Bob's Kebabs and Wraps. Then there's these. OMG, these are so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have new cute potted plants. Look at those. Those are adorable. And I will be using that swatch so much. Ah. Then we have these. And these guys are adorable as well. I wish these would have came separated as well. And I'll be using that swatch like crazy. Just fair warning. If you don't want to see it, you're, you're going to see it. Then we have these potted plant boxes, which I do like. Um, I always love me some potted plant boxes that help change things up. And then we got a flower hanging basket that I don't have to go into debug for. And then we have another flower pot box, which just some leaves in it. So it's not as great, but you know, hey, and then we got to go back up and grab the research table because I have a table over here and we got to get it on. There we go. And that's just for researching as far as I know. Then we have some different posters, which are really nice. Come in some different swatches. I guess I could go through them. My bad. We have a new mirror with some different stickers and no stickers. So that's cute. We have some blinds for those people who do not want to use the um, rodent pack. I forget the name of it. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. But yeah. Then we got some curtains, which are cute. And we have some books that change some colors with some sticky notes on it. Yep, sticky notes there, which are really cute. Then we got this cute little porter pal guy over there. He changes some faces. And, oh, there's Bob Pancakes. <laughs> so you want something scary? Just give your, do your sim kid that doll right there and see what happens then we got banners that come in different things so it's really cute i like that then we have the flagpole which you have to go out for comes in some different swatches and colors and it goes with this one here oops i guess i could have went the other way which also changes the banner and the flag color so you can have it for your different events which is wonderful and then this one just goes there see ta-da we have new rugs which are quite nice i do kind of like these just they're not going to be able to be really versatile and usable because when you size them up they're going to be quite big so i mean they're beautiful but they're going to be for the right thing then we got a new ah uh, i want to go up so i got to go up in Zoo Tycoon, not in Tycoon, in Planet Zoo, when you want to go up, you go down. <laughs> so I keep messing up. We have a new fireplace with the pretty new emblems on it. It comes in some swatches. We have a new plaque memorabilia that you will earn through your game, probably. We have new wall flags, which were definitely something I would see at uni. Then we have some new black and white frame prints, and it has some colored ones in there. We have some new signs, which is really great. We have banners, which once again have some different swatches. We have this like little small quirky board of different things that you could put your stuff on for promotions. What reminds me of? Then we have a new notes board for all your peeps. I like that. That is cool. Um, not usable. I kind of wish it had been kind of usable like the planet board. Maybe like for your um, friends and your roommates. Maybe a board to help control people you don't control. That sort of thing. Then we have a new black and white menu board. Another new poster and some different things. We have some foxberry crest and some colors. And the fox. The Brychester's Crest, which I'm sure we'll find many more uses for than just Crest. 
then we have this barrier which is you know see-through but it just marks your spot it's like x marks the spot this is my area stay out that's your area then we got a new china cabinet which is great um i do like it we have new desk lights and we have this one and we have the older looking one ceiling lights i like this one too I don't like a lot of hanging ceiling lights, but I will use that one. This one is nice. I could see me using that one. This one is um, futuristic type of light. Yeah, it's okay. It's not my cup of tea, but hey. We got some new pole lights, which I like these as well. We got a new laptop for all you peeps. And my tables are back here. Okay, let me go up. Ha ha. There we go. Oh, I placed it. So, is that the only color it comes in? No. It has whites and keyboards, okay. Oh, it's because I already placed it. It wouldn't do it. So, those are the collars. Then we have this, like, I think it's like a speaker thing. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it's like speakers. That's kind of neat. That'll look good with some stuff. Then the all awaited, no more sizing down of the refrigerators. We have our mini fridges. And this one's a little older style with stickers, which I like. And then you got the new updated or style with some bright, funky colors. So you have your choice. You have another um, Bon Appetit cafeteria for your Sims to come and get their food, which I heard is free so I can't wait to check that out and then of course the trash chute we have this new plain bookcase which has like lockers in the bottom and stickers on the sides that change oh this is cute I like that then we have this old bookcase on like bricks and it changes made out of pipes I could see that and then like this Ikea bookcase that is so cute and they do change color swatches on them which is great then we have the colonial bookcase. I do like that. Once again, I'm not seeing the bush changing colors. I wish that was a thing. We have this one. Once again, books aren't changing, but you guys can't get everything, but I would have liked it. Then we got a simple dresser that's tall. I like that. We don't have very many of those at all. And then we have a greater things dresser. Ooh, I like that too. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be using that. We got a new chair. Oops, I got to put in my cheats because I'm so not prepared for this. I'm so sorry. One second. Gotta put dressing sheets on. Come on, button. Then we gotta ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement so that we can see those. All right, and then I'll put the other one in in a minute after we get through these. So then you will get this chest that you can store items in. I am so excited for this. Hopefully it will hold more of stuff than the other chest did because it would be really nice for inventory reasons. And then I got to go out and come back in. So I'm just going to go there and then show all again. Oops, they're all mixed in now, aren't they? All right, so then we got this teacher's desk, which is really nice. I like this. I can see this. Then you have the more like... Um, fashionable desk so like the Dean's desk or something I see that oops I'm out of money in my testing family there we go we're not out now then there's the new research station in gold that you get for unlocking and debate then you got this new easel for unlocking I th they showed finger painting on this then you have the new ping pong tables 
which unlock so you got the um foxberry one and then the brightchester one really cute of course you can get the team's playbook oh i want to go up because i want to see it oh my gosh there is it's cute it's cute oh it's cuter when i can control the camera too much zoo too much zoo <laughs> and then you got the squad member poster you have the brainiac member poster you got the bus bot savants you got the brightchester spirit you got the art society and you got the debate and then you have the anti foxberry poster <laughs> and the anti you bright poster <laughs> that's so cute then we have some legal case files some more like you know teachers paperwork it looks like I like that um, let me see what else we have blueprints which it don't change then we have this framed one which don't change we have the learning in betterment Edward by being the teacher unlocked that's cute I like that then we have the memories of graduation. I'm sure you get that after you graduate with caps going up. That's cute. And the Arner Frame Society. Oh, so adorable. The world is your oyster poster. Oh, I'm going to get so much use out of these. I love these pictures. And then, oh, this clock. That is so cute. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? I'm going to be using that. I just, that clock screams kitchen to me everywhere probably because my grandmother had one similar but yeah and then this bookcase unlocks as well which once again the books aren't changing colors but it is a nice bookcase so I will get my use out of it and that is for the law career so let me make sure I hit them all nope I forgot this little thingy a on a scale of one to justice so a law thingy here let's put it up here got a couple metal collars with it that's cute so celebrate your little law desk I bet you those papers are like law papers but to me it's more like a teacher's desk type thing oh you got the racing gamers chair here look at that that's so cute oh my gosh I'm gonna use that and then you got the impressive lawyery type chair I can see that oh my gosh I like this all right so that is all that I have for the cast items oh build and buy area OMG okay so let's um, I didn't want to do that get rid of this stuff so that I can show you guys the build by gotta go this way my my zoo screenings got better but my sim screenings didn't ah okay <laughs> oh my shower if I build you will you come <laughs> Okay, sorry. Bad joke had to do it though. If you know me, that's one of the many you're used to hearing. Because, you know, like, I have, like, absolutely. Come on, delete. Delete, 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 delete. <laughs> That's that, da, 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 da. okay. Alrighty. Oh my gosh. Playing is gonna be a nightmare getting it readjusted. I hate when games have different controls and I can't get the other one to control up. Alright, so build a wall here. Do 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 da da okay. So we have Discover University. We have all of these new wall coverings. 
So we have the Gibbs. And of course, that does come in different colorways as well. Um, it's quite cute. I can see me using this. I really can. Because I like the like wooden panel yet still color type walls in my homes. I think they look really nice. And this just gives a great new, oh, I can see that go with a stranger view. The color stuff. Yep, I could use this. Then we have the groovier style. Or groovier style, whatever you want to call it. And once again, it does come in a few different colors. This is a little more modern for my taste, but I thought I called it that one. But, you know, if I'm doing the right sort of build, I can see this working. Then we have the stones that groove. Same idea with it, same color swatches. So, you know, I'm not going to bore you all. I mean, I guess I could do this with it, be much easier on myself, right? Yeah, okay, smart idea. Then we have the Foxberry Stone, which I like this. Look at that. That looks quite good. I could see me using this stone quite a bit. Just because, like, I like that. Then we have the Brightchester Stone. I'm going to run out of room here. I love this as well. I like the detailing in this brick. I mean, we have a lot of bricks, but this is some good detailing. I do like that. Then we have the Accented Stone. I'm just going to come back this way. Ta -da -da. I like that one as well. It's more of like a plaster with bricks included type look. Not as many colorways as I think we could have done better, but you know, I'll take what I can get. And then there's this. I can see me using this for like kids rooms and dorms and yeah, this is a good one. I like this one. I could probably get some use out of it. I like the bright colors, the differentness. It's good this is like there's a brighter green the darker green a lighter one a darker one i like that so and then for doors we have this new door here which has all these different color swatches and the little people and when you turn it there's this stuff on the back so it changes on the different swatches which is really cool i do like this then we have the study block door, which is quite nice. I like this one as well. And then we have the doors of entanglement, which is a more modern feel, but do you like? Okay, I gotta change my wall height, evidently. Oh, I'm already on it, okay. Then we got this room. I like this door. I could see me using a lot of this door. And like let me get that that color mm -hmm. strangerville all over it for me i like this one i like the detailing up above the brick colorway with it oh and it's like a good solid red door we don't have that in the game and then we have this one which reminds me of very like colonial style homes and the popping door collars in there too oh i love those and then the librarian door. This one is very good. I like this. I like it more in the like solider colors like this if it's going to be like a librarian door. Then we have this tuition your doors. Oh, it won't let me because my wall isn't tall enough. There we go. So it has these. I can see see this and why they have that in there but only for certain builds will I be using that oh, and then windows they have like 50 million windows there are so many windows it is like whoa overload um let me get rid of this yeah that's glitching because I have so many things going on in my background right now sorry so you have this little window here which is so cute then we have this different style one. I like that. Then we have this one. And then just look at all these. There's like 
so many different types of homes you could do now. And, oh, the shutter windows. Ooh, I love those. Love those. Made me some more shutters. Like this. I like that one. Then more of this one. I mean, and that one, again, these are really good. They got the sideway one or the up and down one. They got this one with the little slats in it and stuff. Oh. And then they have this one and then this one of it, which I don't understand. I mean, I know they say left or right, but like I could put this one and then like flip it and I have this one. <laughs> so I don't know why it has to be two separate ones for that, but you know, hey, you did what you did for a reason, right? Thanks for giving it to me. Then there's that one. I like that and there's that one and there's this funky one with it i like that we're, we're not done yet there's more then there's these which go with the other one there's the shutter one i like that too oh there's that one i like that there's these oh we need those bigger windows like these oh i like that and then they have this like one. Oh, that's so cute. And then they have this big window like that. Look at that. That is so pretty. I love that. And then they have these. When do you not have enough of these? I don't have enough of these. I like these. And then that's not even the taller windows. <laughs> that is just this whole wall. Nothing but these shorter windows. Okay. Well... <laughs> I got rid of the windows quite fast. Here we go. Let's do this again. My bad. So, then we have uh, this control. There we go. This one. Look how cute. And then this one. Oh. And then, once again, they did this again. So, like, there's this one. And then there's this one for the other side. But I could just take this one and flip it and I got that one but hey thanks <laughs> and then we have this one which I like and then we have the no more bigger windows which is kind of weird and odd so for this we have quite a few of these as well oops I gotta go this way you can tell I haven't played this game for a few I'm sorry that one is so cute and we don't have a lot of these like little dormer things and when we have to build them they're like ugh. And I like sometimes on my builds to just put these on for decorativeness look at that one so pretty then we got a new fireplace look at that that is so cute and I mean I know I'll go like that and that's still cute and then there's this one here which I like as well it looks very nice I very much enjoy it and I know I'll do that which looks like a nice big hunky big chimney for those areas that need it then we have this uh real balcony which you know goes with these oh so cute look at that that's adorable and then you have these that hang um like the little porch box and we have the little hanging flower box oh so cute and then it says i have something in here what is in here nothing so why are you even highlighted leave me alone then there are columns and there's a new column update so we have this one it has the different colors which is really cute i do like it once again this like green and white i just keep going right past it reminds me a lot of stranger bell then there's this one which is really cute i like this i like the detailing in it like up in here and then this is the update is now they don't snap too and you can just like pull this bad boy up to your liking and go taller than what we can build up oh, okay I maxed I maxed it <laughs> um, and do something with that and I mean like there's your column now and then some of these don't stretch on the columns and they'll have icons and we'll go back to that in a minute um let's finish the university thing here and then i'll show you that 
Um, then we have this new ah, game controls, this new rowing as well, which is quite pretty. I like it. And once again, comes in the same few color swatches. Wish there would have been a little bit more, but it is the basics for the building. So, I mean, I got my black and whites and light, medium, and darker tan versions, I can call it. So I can live with that. And then flooring. Yep, we have this one. And it looks like that. It is really quite cute. I do quite like it. It's different. It's not the same, but it is very pretty. I mean, I won't get it in every house, but I could see a home I, I could use this with. And like this one is like one of my favorites because it's not really loud, but it's there. It's pretty. I like it. Um, I do like this one too because, you know, it's a little bit more tint and uh oh. Planet Zoo controls are coming in. OMG. Okay, so there is that. And then it's going to show you something. Oh, the other columns. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so we'll take that off and we'll go to the other columns. So now on your other columns, you'll see things that have like this little icon right here. So if you would click that, I can click it here. And then I do have the option to drag this column up like the other ones. It's just, unfortunately, it's going to max. It's not going to go up like there. It's right there. Can't be any taller. So, I mean, it does grow a little, but due to the way it looks and the constraints, they did stop. So, there are some, and they just have the little icons. But, I mean, honestly, there's not that many. And, like, why would you want to stretch this out to be a thin stick? So, you know, I get why they did it. But, you know. Hey, we got it so I'll take it but that is everything in the build and buy catalog so I hope you guys enjoyed it my next video we will go over some of the cast items and then some gameplay so I'll see you guys next time bye all right Zudians I am so sorry I know I let you go but I'm going to bring you back because I forgot to show the live edit object so you put that cheat in you type debug here and these are the show live edit objects for um, university that are really nice you have this archway um, whoa you have like a whole building that you could put in the background <laughs> let's see you have another whole building and this whole building okay we got the whole buildings done so now I'll go back in so you got this like um, false wall piece. Just remember if you use these, your sims like will kind of walk through them. So, but you got that bridgeway. You have a light. You the stair. Oh, that's so pretty. I like that. Oh, this I could use that. There's the smaller one. Ooh, I like that. There's this one. Oh yeah. I gotta go back to my graveyard build with these. Oh, beauty. Look at that. Oh, I like that okay love all right if i could get out of the house here what is that Ooh, i could i could yeah oh i know what i want to do with that okay there's that <laughs> then there's this funky wall piece let's show it down some okay I don't know what you're going to do with that, but, you know, you could. Then there's that. Um, some of these, you know, you got to have some imagination. You got that. You have your, ooh, brick, I like that. Then you got your fair, whoa. We have a light post. We have this doorway. We have a boat. <laughs> we have... The like railing, okay. We have flowing water. If I click on, will it flow? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs>
<gasps> Water amusement park, here I come. That's cool. Okay. I like that. Okay. So, PAX, University, the bug. All right, let's go back to looking. So, you have that. You have another one like this. This one, oh, that's got to look pretty cool in live mode. Oh, okay. Then we have this statue. I like that. This one is cute. We got some weeds to put around some like trellises corners you know things like that we have the debug flowers and i'm like in spring right now so they're not gonna look so good i'm so sorry but there you go we got some bushes some more weeds <laughs> some bushes there's that one i mean i mean you'd be better off looking at the picture i'm sorry <laughs> then we have this brick wall i could use that we got that one oh. we got the post we have more weeds here. We got the tree, which has no leaves on it right now. <laughs> I've been spring. What is that? Huh. Oh, a little like car thingy? I don't know. Just says the bug. And then we have a light. Oh. That looks kind of. I got a teeny light. Okay. <laughs> and then we have. Whoa whoa we have we have everything that thing is huge oh okay putt putt golf that's what it reminds me of <laughs> and then we have a debug a table with some swatches on it which are nice but don't think you can use these with your sims i've tried before to save money on my builds they don't work they just look awful pretty so that is the show live edit objects debug mode. If you don't know that cheat, I will leave that down below in my video for you as well. And for real this time, I will see you all next time. Bye guys. All right guys, so I'm back. I went to go out again for the third time. Yeah, this is so great. So well planned, I know. Um, and these are these debug items. So this is the apartment mailbox and then the shoot them down. And then the up and down elevators um, of different sizes for us. And the different looking ones. Ooh, more modern looking ones. So yeah, those are those two because the dorms act like um, penthouses, which are really cool. And I wanted to show you that those were in there as well since I missed that and stuff. So, okay, now I'm really going. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.